Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today we are going to finish fitting up Captain Ball Speed for a three wood. We've got a couple of contenders that we are kind of working with. We're going to try to fine tune them a little bit. Now, Ian, because we're doing a part two of this, I want you to, to recap a little bit on the job of this golf club for everybody. So this job is to land about 280 and mm -hmm. really only roll about 10 yards. Yeah, so we need this coming pretty high. You're looking to kind of get this to hold specific yardages for yeah. when you hit this club. Correct. I don't want it to go too far because I don't need another driver. Correct. So we've got the Titleist TSR3. Yeah. Um, we're going to start off here. Now these have all been kind of adjusted a little bit and set up a little bit for him. So we're, we're looking to see what we can do to maximize ball flight, proper spin, and get it to sit pretty quick around 290. So let her rip, Mr. Ian. Yeah, but last time we played the 16 and a half degree. Mm -hmm. And then we're playing this this time at a 17 and a quarter degree. Yeah, slight adjustment to the loft here, slight adjustment to the lie to see if we can get this thing to really dial in the flight we're looking for. Ball go far, ball go straight. No, ball go specific distance, ball go straight. True. And it doesn't like sniff, better. it doesn't smell closed. Just <laughs> can't, can't smell closed. No. <laughs> Forgot that was the thing. <laughs> Already on a good start, Jesus. That look good. It seems pretty good. Yeah, that's decent. Two seventy. I mean, that's fine. We got that maybe at what? I caught it high thing? in the face. A little high, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but right in the center. That's good then. Like my hybrids go two sixty carry, so two seventy. What was that? Two seventy. Two seventy to two ninety. Yeah, to two ninety. That's exactly perfect. For. That's right? exactly what. I'd like to see us get a little bit more spin. I'd like to see it go a little higher, but I think that comes with a little bit better strike. Yeah, we're getting there. It's early. <laughs> Ian hasn't had enough coffee yet. Oops. See, right there, that's like exactly the ball flight you're looking for, right? <laughs> Other than you hooked it. That didn't spin that much, actually. No, it, that really didn't good. spin low. It was a good mess. But I never do that on a course, so that's frustrating. It's an interesting one. That's my fault. That's active hands. Like, that's what I'll do. Do you play mid sized grips on your clubs? I do. I think that's something. I think that fights that one that you just hit. That's going to be a little shorter, I think. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting mid-sized grips on my clubs. But that's fine. No. It's no. Just down the middle. I mean, yeah. it's going to come up short, but that's what happens when we kind of get across it a bit. Yeah, pull it right down the line. Yep. See, this is the one... That we gotta that make sure. <laughs> well, this is the one that we gotta make sure doesn't just fly like a rocket. Yeah, that's fine. A little spinny, actually. Okay. Now, that's question okay. for you. That's okay, though. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. Question for you, though, with this club, are we hitting this off of a tee peg or are we hitting this off the deck? Both. Both. Okay. So, I'm not upset with that. Seeing that result. No. Right. Because what I always tell people, a couple things with fairway woods, right? We have kind of our biggest targets with this club. Yeah. You know, we're not trying to stick pins and stuff like that, right? No. We're trying to hit often fairways. So and the widest part of the widest the part fairways. of the fairways, exactly. So I'm not mad at that, right? A little yeah. bit of fluctuation in distance. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about this one going nuclear like we saw some of the other ones, because I'm pretty sure we hit this club before and it went like 340 almost, didn't and it? With a different setup. We, yeah. And if yeah. we need 10 yards extra, you just Put it we down. A dial it back a touch, yeah. yeah. No, I like this. It seems like it's protecting against all the stuff that we're trying to protect against. Yeah. Which one are we trying next? Is it the stealth one? So this is the one we kind of liked last time. Yes. Now. It produced the most, like it was the best consistent. numbers. Now, this is the stealth two plus TI, right? Yep, and it's a hash open. So when, in all of these, we're trying some slightly different shafts with a little bit of a, a theory we're testing. So I mean, the see. theory worked. It did, it's doing what we needed to do, yeah. you know, which is have this club not go 340 yards. Yes. So let's see what this one looks like. How's it going? 
slightly read wrong, but that's what it did. I mean, it's right there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty what, good. Yeah. Not overly upset at that. So is it a little, that's a little low though? It but, is coming in a little flatter than I want to see. Now, ball flight, I mean. Well, when the landing coming, angle's pretty good actually. But the launch was a little low. Yeah. You know? But so, I'm okay launching it low. But when we get that flatter ball flight, that's when we get that 290, 310 one like we have here. Oh, 305, okay. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's just 287. I yeah. thought that said 275. Now, 283 without normalized, 287 yeah. with, but 305 nonetheless, right? Okay. So it, that's what I'm saying. This one, it's a little bit flat. That's the ball flight that we don't like with this one. No, that's about as high as I can get it. I like that one. We're going to do a round two with these. Um, I'm going to make a little tweak to this next time through. Are you going to make it higher? I'm going to see if we can make it go a little higher. That one was a heel. That was actually good for a heel. Yeah, the Healy one goes higher. The Healy one goes higher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's about what you expect from the Healy one. Yeah, it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> that's just so dead. Wow, weird. Or it's just, fl it's uh, it's low. Yeah, low. Lower ball flight. We're going to make a little tweak to that. Um, well, we can hit the Cobra. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to hit the Cobra. I'm going to tweak this real quick. This is the Cobra... Ma uh, Aerojet Normal. The Normal one, right? Yeah. Not the LS, because that would go 9,000 9, yards. Hello. Well, ball speed up. Uh oh. Ball flight <laughs> launch looked up. Yeah, it is. Uh oh. Give me a number. Oh, that's not bad. It's close. It's a little far, but it's close. See, we got the ball up in the air more. And I like oh, yeah. that. Yeah, I like it too. I just pulled it online, but that's fine. The Aerojet stuff just continues to Aerojet yeah. everywhere. It's just arrows. So we might even have to put it up another degree. Yeah, you might be in that weird, like, like high launch three wood window. There, I spun that one more. I think I hit down on it a little extra. That was a good one. That was perfect. Is that the spin you want? 30? That's kind of what I'm looking for for you, yeah. I just got to hit down on a little extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. So perfect number for you. Like, I don't want to see this get below 3,000. Yeah, that's right. A, that's I don't really want to see it get above 37, yeah. right? But I don't want it below three for sure. Okay. Uh-oh. We might have a winner. I really like that. I really like that too. The Aerojet is Aerojetting. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. It's really good. Hold on to that one. <laughs> it just this just felt good. It it feels good. I like the ball flight. It seems like you can manipulate it the way you want. And the one I hit left is just one I hit left. It's nothing. And, and that's not even that left. No. This this is pretty special. We're going to do a round two with all these. I'm not touching that. No. Why would you? So Titleist one more time. One more time with Titleist. We made a slight tweak to her. We got her bumped down to B1 now. Well, hey, do you want to put the white in this thing? Because the Cobra was the white. I don't, I don't like the spin. I like the spin. I, 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 the thing that I like about this club is it gets in the air and it spins good. Yeah, I right? like that too. Like, let's start here and if we switch to the white, we switch to the white. Okay. But I'm pretty happy with where this is so I'm, far. I'm happy where it is too. Well, we don't like that. Well, I, I do that sometimes with new golf clubs. But that's the second time you've done that with this golf club. I don't club. want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, there's just some... I, 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 Cobra feels real good. I don't know. Let's switch it real quick. So this seems to be a window where it's like, could be really good. It might be the shaft too with the active tip. Yeah, I think that and it's, it's getting ahead of me a little. I, I think that's what it is because you're not hitting this with 
the other ones. And this one from a head standpoint, based on just that, I bet you it's probably a little heavier. Yeah. Um, Which especially like. how we have it set up though, because yeah. we have this thing set up to try to get a little bit more spin and a little bit more height out of it. So yeah. let it rip. Let's see what this does. I'll Slight hit, adjustment, I'll different shaft, more. same settings as before. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, it, it, this feels a little tighter right here. Mm -hmm. And that's wow. that's the window that I'm looking to kind of see you get to. Yeah, right. Yeah, perfect. that's perfect. Three more. Okay. Happy now. We happy. Wasn't happy before. Well, Not it was happy. a theory. Well, it was a theory, and it, to be fair, it works for some and not all, you know? I just got a crazy video idea. Oh, we found it. We're gonna Look do at our, that. We're going to do our first course vlog ever, and we're going to wear Heelys. That was really good. <laughs> that was that was really good. Just double spun. Double spun. So that actually that actually is went two seventy seven and two ninety four. Well, curious. Where did number thirty one go? Normalize. With normalize yeah. two ninety eight, without two eighty four. No thirty one. Yeah. So I'm saying. Yeah. So they're right next to each other. That's my mm -hmm. point. Yeah. That was a good ball. All right. One more. Just double spun. One more. I like this. I like this too. Does this mean you don't want to go on a golf course with Heelys? No. Okay. I figured it'd be fun. And if that's a heel miss, I'm okay. Because that's still in the fairway. That, that's not going to, you're not going to no, lose too fine. much on that. Okay, I'm liking this one now. Yeah, I don't have any problems with that. The spin's a little higher than I want to see. Well, that one I... On I, the miss, yeah. obviously. What was the, what was the spin on the other two? Uh, double spin in 3,500. Oh, so right. Yeah. 35 is fine. Well, if it double spun, can we split it in half? I don't know if it's mathematical. If that's how that works. Okay. That kind of thing. But you're at about, I don't know, 2,800. Okay. I did hit that one a lot better. So. Mm -hmm. um, stealthy. Stealth? Stealthy. Okay. And we made the adjustment to the What'd stealth. What did you do to it? Uh, kind of move that weight a little bit. Oh, you move the weight. Okay. Just to get it higher. We're seeing if we can get that ball flight a little higher because this one, it was hitting a good number, yeah. but it was coming in a little flat. Yeah, that's right? not good. We got to get that thing up in the air a bit because, again, we're trying to get this thing to stop pretty quick. Okay. A little higher. I just left the face open, but nothing bad. I just don't like the shape on this one today. Let me hit, let me hit two more, three more. Oh, it likes to go right. I'm just saying, you're just saying these swoopy right ones. It's a technical golf term, swoopy. Swoopy. That was, that was the bad. best one. Still just low. Just low, that's low, a little, low. That's a little better. Better. That was at nine and at eight was at nine. Never mind. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> That was probably the highest one. That one was pretty good. That one was up in the air. I just don't like the low ones. So we adjusted this weight pretty good, right? I mean, distance, again, it's really good. But we've only gotten two that kind of get into that window that I think makes sense. Yeah. Um, the adjustment that we made on the weight was... Medium high spin or medium high? We, we, we bumped it a series or three notches back, Yeah. right? So we should be in a much higher window than we were before. Yeah. Um, it just seems like with this one from a delivery perspective, and again, probably because we got to play with that slightly softer shaft, it might be that you're just getting a little bit too much loft off the face and yeah. we're just presenting this thing a little bit more powerful than it needs to be. Okay. All right, Cobra. Mr. Cobra, round two. The Aerojet. No adjustments here. No adjustments. Now I might get to Aurora. 
I know you got a tea time later, man, but come on. I don't. <laughs> trying to get a tea shot off on one already? We might have to delete that one later. That was bad swing. Well, we're going to clean these up a bit. A series of eight shots, we're looking at five. We're looking at your best. Mm. Now but that is what you do on the golf course. That's buttery. That 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 is you. Little pull cut. I love those. It's right in the center of the face. It's all over what we want. That one's a tell, but it went straight. Dead straight. See, let's see if the spin drops like crazy on that. I think it went. I felt like it went. Oh. Oh, 37. 3700. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. That's fine. That's beautiful. Yeah, we. That's actually. That's super, super promising. Yeah. All right, Uno. I like that a lot. And then that one I missed. That's all right. That's a heel miss. Like I said, we're gonna delete three of these from each window. I only hit three from the new title list, so should I hit three more? Um. Yeah. Go ahead. That's a good call. Okay. Just to be fair, let me erase a few of these real quick. Yeah. Start to kind of narrow this down for you. Oh, that's a good one. Keep that in. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about what it does. We're going to keep that in. We're going to we'll erase Just keep all of those. Well, I want to I look at this is like I do in fittings, right? Okay. We're looking at five shots. So eight shots a piece. I'm always going to erase three. And we are going to look at everything from kind of a holistic window. We want to understand what the club does at its worst and what it does at its best. And what the Cobra does on its worst when you come with an open face and heal one is we're going to slice it. But there isn't a golf club that fixes that, right? Yeah. But um, realistically, what we're getting is if you come through on this thing with shots that are pretty normal for you, yeah. sometimes you get one that maybe is like a couple miles an hour slower in ball speed, yeah. but it was still 285 down the middle, you know? Okay. And it's this, is, this is the Titleist window. Yeah, let's hit three more with this. Yep, three more of that one. See, that's a good height right there. Just hope it's not a knuckleball. Uh, no, I think nope. it spun a little too much. Not oh, never mind, it's perfect. Really good. Yeah. Low one. I, I hit down on a little extra. Okay. So it should land, sh it felt like it landed shorter. Yeah. Just a hair. And it just rolled out more. So that's still fine. Yep. Yeah. Like that's just laser. It didn't get to the woods. <laughs> yeah, 3000, that's what you want. Yeah, but 300 is not but that, what we want. But that's the thing. I can mess with the loft a bit. I like all, like all those is what I would play. We'll leave them in there. I don't, I don't know about that we'll, one. We'll see. Like, we'll see. Let's you know? clean up the tailor now. Well, I don't like the fact that you're just hitting this, like, swoopy one, right? Like, yeah, you got I don't, these I three that I are better. Yeah, I can't play that. But, like, here, that's too low. Way too low. Like, that's just a flat miss. We're going to get rid of that. Yeah, see, you're just not timing this club up. No. Right? And we, we've tried this now with a couple of different shafts and stuff. And the thing we see about it is it's really, really good in certain windows, but it's not perfect in certain windows. Correct. Right? right? Um, so, these are kind of what we're left with. Let's look at some numbers here. Well, actually, before numbers, confidence. Where are you? Honestly, the Cobra and Titleist feel the best. And I, I can control where the, like, the last six with the Titleist all went dead straight. Mm-hmm. And... You know, half and half went the number we wanted. But, like, I can play with the loft a bit. Same with the, the Cobra. The Cobra was fine right off the get-go. Mm -hmm. So, let's look at this here. With the Titleist, we are looking at 3,700 spin, 275, 290. 47 landing angle. Pretty solid. That's with normalize off. We're going to go through off first. Yeah. Normalize on. We're looking at... Same thing. <laughs> relatively the same thing 279 carry 292 total 3600 spin still so off with the cobra 3500 spin 278 295 
44 landing angle with it on 281, 295, and 45. So good there. With it off with the tailor, we're at 275 and 295, and 41, 3300 spin. We turn it on, we're at 288, and we're at 299 with a 42 degree landing angle. Which so is too low. It's well, well it's it's not okay. too low, but again, you're looking for something very specific. Yeah. Like you have really good numbers with the TaylorMade. Yeah. However, it's going a little bit too far because it's a little bit too flat and it's pretty consistently doing so. Yeah. It's the lowest spinning one, it's the lowest flighted one, right? And most of the time, that's okay. But we have a ceiling that's very real with this club. We need this club to kind of sit in our window, right? Yeah. So that window includes being able to stop. So we need landing angle. It's gonna get up there around 45, 46, 47, because yeah. we need to stop pretty quickly, all right? Now, between the two, the Cobra and Titleist. The Cobra and the Titleist, you hit really well. This is one of those things where there's not a whole lot in it. There's not different. The Titleist stops a bit quicker, and it comes a little bit shorter in terms of yardage because it's got a little bit more spin, and it's launching a little higher. Yeah. The Cobra, you didn't really miss with. No. There's not much in there with the Cobra. The Titleist, there were some misses, right? So the thing becomes a... Technically speaking, I probably like the numbers can you, on the title list a little better. Can What's you up? hide the, the tailor made? Hide it? Yeah. I get distracted. <laughs> there we go. Technically okay. speaking. Which one's which? The white Cobra is blue, title list is white. See, I like the title list for the right purpose. But mm -hmm. all the Cobra ones were really nice. Oh yeah, we gotta. You put that. That we one put went on straight. There. It's it's a double spin number, but it's it's a number that's a real put number. Put it off normalized because today's today. I mean, it's whatever. Um, so here's the thing, right? When we look at these clubs, you don't have any misses with the Cobra, right? This is the second week in a row doing this where the Cobra has been pretty solid, yeah. and you don't feel like you have to do too much to protect or kind of anything with this club. With the Titleist, I did see a couple of misses. We've had to adjust it, but more. not with this shaft. Again, with this shaft, it's it's pretty good, right? Yeah. So it becomes a thing where which one do, gives you more confidence hitting that shot in the tournament? Well, I'm used to Titleist. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And I love the look of it. Mm -hmm. and, the sh and the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like right miss better than the little left miss. I mean, there's nothing different about dispersions. Mm -hmm. In these two setups, they're pretty equivalent. Very. And, but I'd, I'd rather go with my Titleist because it's just something I'm comfortable with. Yeah, if you like I'm the impressed Titleist, by this guy. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you like the Titleist, you just need the nail on the head. It's yeah. what you're used to playing. It's what you're used to seeing. Yeah. This is your club, man. So this is a club that's going to be a pretty important club and a pretty reliable club for you. You I know agree. how I feel about my three wood. Yeah. I love it, right? Yeah. So this is a club that's an important club for a guy. Um, if you like the Titleist, it's almost like a four wood now. Or we set it up into a four wood. But Basically, we've that's got, what I need. We've got two higher lofted three woods in your hands yeah. right there with pretty stable profiles that are actually pretty similar. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I, it's up to you. Good call. I don't think you can go wrong with. Like I said, the Cobra was good out the gate. We got the title list in that window as well. I like it, you know? I do too. Do you feel like you don't have to protect with either of these? Not at all. That's a well, good thing. Well, the one left one was a little weird with the Cobra. I like where you can put the weight on this one though and mm -hmm. protect against it. That really yeah. seemed to help out. I truly appreciate fitting with Titleist clubs because I feel like I can manipulate the ball flight quite a bit. Very much so. So I'm gonna have to go with my trusty little Titleist. Trusty Titleist, there it is. Captain Ball Speed's got a new three wood. TSR three. TSR three. With 10 16 and a half. 16 and a half set to? 16 and a half. What's the setting though? C1? C1. B1, no B1. B1. B1 and T1, technically speaking. Yeah. And then we've got Tensei Black 1K. 1K. 75. 75X? Yeah. Bingo. Captain Ball Speed, new three wood. New three wood. I'm happy. There it is. That's all we want. Thank you for tuning in to our episode of WCC Fits, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.